yesterday, I thought we regressed fucking big time. Like, I was like, yo, <laughs> what, are, what are we doing, right? But I'm not going to lie. Greer is low-key. He's cooking. He's cooking for Look real. Like, nice. Bro, he's, he's cooking. This team's um, turning out, bro. I love the line. T- 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 tell me how much you like the linebacking core. Please. Yo, the linebacker, amazing. Uh, fucking amazing. Like, amazing. It's a, uh, that's what I'm talking about. We need to upgrade, not um, step back. So, right. I mean, he has a couple more holes we have to look at. I mean, they just signed Poyer. So, at least he's yeah. looking into these things. Now, with Poyer, I get it. He's old. He's injury prone. That just means right. we're going to sign. Um, we're going to go ahead and draft the safety with that first or second round pick for sure um, and have Poyer come in and, you know, give him that tutelage, and we'll see what we can get out of that safety position uh, for sure now because Poyer can't start the whole year. We, we well, know that. Now, Jay, before you, before you hop off here, oh, I do want to get Josh this Allen. answer from you, though. So, Tua, obviously, that's the question that's hanging out there. Um, I actually – I don't remember who – broke this but somebody was saying yeah exactly that over 50 over 50 so yeah uh, um no quarterback i mean you as we all know so obviously um there's people who know sports and then there's people who don't know sports obviously you guys know sports right Um, so nobody in the nfl is getting paid over 50 million dollars a year it's just a balloon number that you can make up to so it just makes the agent sound great it's great for the quarterback it's great for the league to say hey we're getting paid more, but nobody gets that. Nobody sees that money. It's all about that guaranteed money. Guaranteed. Um, so that's so that's what it is. Uh, yeah, um, 100%. The Dolphins are going to yeah. have to go up and lock up Tua um, this yeah. offseason. Not right now before the draft, but definitely before the season starts, you better lock them up. Or you're going to get into another situation just like this Christian Wilkins thing, and it's going to get ballooned. And I'm not saying teams are going to be out there lining up for Tua. It's just that's what the market is going to be. So you 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 have to pay this this guy now because he just threw for um, almost five thousand yards last year. Played every game. Well, it wasn't all on Tua. Why we we didn't make it last year uh, yeah, uh, any not. further? So um, yeah. he proved it. Uh, pay yeah. the man now. Uh, try to get him on a little discount. I would say, hey, uh, try to mirror that Kirk Cousin deal. Maybe throw in like three three uh, three more million somewhere in there. Make him feel good, but. Yeah, we yeah. got to pay this dude, and, and it better happen now. And also, um, before I log off, we're going to have hella cap space next year. So that's why I think um, this year we're going to put a competitive team on the field, but yep. next year is going to be where we swing for the Super Bowl with all our, our picks, and we're going to release Bradley Chubb more money. So we're going to have a hell of a lot of cap space come next year. Yeah, I like it. No, I love well, it. Well, man, thank you for uh, hopping on. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. Your, yeah. your your turn on Tua there. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that you're a believer. You said I'm what? Glad. Your uh-huh. turn on Tua. He's trying to throw a little bit of slight. I'm not slight. Oh, I'm, no. I mean, no. It's, 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 it. never, it. it's, it's never been It's never been a turn or a, or a swipe on Tua. My only thing is that we have to be smart and pay him from the right price. Like, right. He, well, but can, can, can I ask you this? Like, 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 really, if Justin Herbert, and again, this isn't a apples to apples talent, arm strength, athleticism, and size comparison. This is a when you're looking at production, the, the past two seasons, when you're looking at win loss record, when you're looking at certain things, if Herbert's getting paid fifty million plus, then it too will get paid fifty million plus. Yeah, but the the, the thing is, the, the argument that what people are gonna give you is that the coaching um that he had is not as good as what Tua has. Because we've seen Tua with bad coaching. Like, bruh, we but, we might have uh, Paul, we might have started you some of those games. I mean, when Brian Flores was out there, <laughs> hey. I wouldn't have. I'd have got him out of there for sure. <laughs> but, yeah, like we were like, bro, this is this experiment's not going to work. So I think um, with now with Harbaugh coming in, um, we're going to see a, a a real different uh, Justin Herbert for sure because he did have yeah. the weapons. So I can't sit here and say because a lot of people say, well, he didn't have the weapons. Um, he did have some weapons. It's just that the coaching, the situation that he's in, wasn't uh, wasn't a good fit. Uh, yeah, as family. bad as Anthony Lynn may have had like like some some bad decisions as an offensive coach, I mean as a head coach, him as an offensive coordinator is still a really good offensive coach. They had a really good system. Kellen Moore is a good offensive coordinator. Like like I don't think the offensive play calling well, was an issue. But and, did and, Dak and, Prescott have his best career after Kellen Moore left? But yeah, but come on, Mike McCarthy. 
Okay, all right. Like, just and, and, and and also like like just growth. I, again, Dak Prescott Kel- through Kellen Moore's through, offense is not bad. Dak, that that offense Dak is not Prescott bad. Prescott threw a shit ton of interceptions the year before. Like he 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 might have led the league and didn't even play all the games or some shit. I did something like that. Yeah. Um. And yeah, but Jay, I don't want to hold you, brother. I'll yeah, hold sorry, you bro. here all night, man. For real. Nah, I, nah, nah. Y- y'all yeah. are, y'all are good. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna see a different. Definitely gonna see a different Justin Herbert. Um. We are gonna pay Tua. Uh. We just got to make sure we keep it in that Kirk level. Um, so that will, if we if we if we miss that train, that means that hey, next year we're really going to be having to pay him like fifty five million a year. Right. Um, so go yeah. ahead and lock it up now. <laughs> Learn from the mistakes. Learn from the mistake on this Christian Wilkin and Robert Hunt thing, and uh, let's start signing some of our players now right. before they go. Sign Waddle, sign to a uh, sign Holland, keep him. Keep everybody. Yeah, I mean Holland. Holland's going to be a tough one though. I think he's. Um, He's one of the I, he's one of the best free safeties in the league. He is, but you see what's going on. Look how many free safeties they just released. There's like a market going on right now, just like with that running back market. They're not evaluating so sign him now. Sign him now. Sign him now. I agree. <laughs> sign him fucking now before it gets uh, before it gets too crazy. But there's something going on with this safety thing right now. They're trying to devaluate the position, just like the running backs. Like they're not trying to play safeties to big money. And uh, Holland ain't gonna go for that. No, he's gonna walk. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna want his money. Yeah, rightfully so. Though. I don't blame him. But uh, all right, Jay, man, I appreciate you. You're always welcome on here, man. So just let me know. Uh, we'll set it up. Uh, great to get your insight on here, man.